Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Andrew Plus. It is daily time. I did skip yesterday's daily again. Time got away from me. Uh, but two days ago, 102nd place, 1.21% overall. Pretty good score. Not uh, absurdly amazing, but pretty good. Today's run is a Maggie run that goes to Mom's Foot and the highest scores. Well, let's not look at the high. Let's look at like the. The median of the top 30 is like 35,000. 35,000 to me indicates it's not a run that ends. Oh man, that's an interesting conundrum there, isn't it? This is a speed upgrade, so we should just take that right off the bat. I sw you Look, no Skype messages for four hours earlier today. I start this run, it's been going for 52 seconds. I get a message from Bear. Flint Hook's room difficulty balance is bad? This... G it's, it's... I swear to you. I'm not suggesting that it's willfully done maliciously. I'm just saying, maybe like they see, oh, you know, Isaac Baby sign on to play Isaac, and they're like, that reminds me, I should look at my computer. And then they look at the Skype message. It's just a strange coincidence is all I'm saying. I'm not suggesting there's any malice. Anyway, um, what I was going to say is... I think that uh, it is conceivable we find a seam, a 35,000 point daily um, indicates, I would suggest, maybe a teleportation after boss rush that also allows us to get to uh, a self-sacrifice room, which allows us to get to the lamb fight. That, that seems to be roughly a 30,000-ish point range. I mean, that, those are top 30 scores, which also, you know, those are great. You know, very high scores. Um, I've had, like four dailies in my Afterbirth Plus life that have hit that level. So we maybe shouldn't be looking at those necessarily as a representation. I tend to fall somewhere between 50 and 150 uh, much of the time, but... Okay, this room is getting a little silly. The clicker is such an interesting choice, but it's also suicidal. If it just re-rolled your character, I would use it. Because, you know, no love lost for Maggie here. She's fine, but... Uh, you know, considering you could re-roll yourself into Azazel, or re-roll yourself into... Uh, not Azazel, but also a good character, such as Dark Judas. I would be interested. The problem is, those are like two outcomes that are decent. But I don't want to be Blue Baby, I don't want to be the Lost, I don't want to be the Keeper. And then also, when you re-roll using the Clicker, you lose an item. I'm not sure if you lose an item every time, or if you just lose an item now and then. But you do lose items, so it, it's just, it's not even about the Zane at this point, it's just like, it doesn't make sense to me. Now that being said, I am going to go back and use it because I'm an idiot, and also because I understand that the value proposition for watching YouTube.com slash Northern Lion is that he is an idiot. So I've re-rolled myself, I've become Lilith, which effectively is just a 0 0.15 speed increase apparently. Without... Wait, did, did we get HP out of that as well? No. Um, which, without Box of Friends, is actually bad. Like, actually bad. Which is another reason we should not have done this reroll. Also, it just throws, like, you know, for daily purposes, it throws a monkey wrench into our plans. You know, because we gotta get to Boss Rush. We got things to do. However, there are synergies with Lilith with Lilith, but to be honest with you, um, it's probably a situation where we're looking to re-roll uh, the character as soon as possible, so. I'm not going to act like this has just cost us the run, because we do have Blood Clot, which is at least a modestly decent item. It is a damage upgrade at the very least. Should open that. Okay, we got our key back, and we've got... Uh, a luck upgrade, which is very nice, and maybe almost enough money to buy a Spirit Heart, which is probably the closest thing we get to Mission Critical right now, because being able to have a Spirit Heart to ensure that our, uh, deal with the Devil goes okay, or at least exists, is, is fairly important to me. I don't think we've passed up a Tinted Rock so far. Can't get that. Well, I guess we're just gonna fight the boss then. I'm, I'm sort of hesitant because... In case it isn't abundantly clear. I do want to use the clicker, but the clicker also causes us to lose items, at least on occasion. I honestly haven't used it enough to know how frequent the item loss is, which is a little bit of a 
you know, a reconnaissance problem on my part. It's an intelligence problem. However, if I take a good deal with the devil, I can't afford to use the clicker because it'll cost me, you know, perhaps the feather in my cap. So we might just stick with Lilith for this whole run. But it's actually, it's probably like, on a daily, it's probably as good to be Maggie as it is to be Lilith. But then, combine that with the fact that we're not actually Lilith, we're like a, a Lilith composite that unfortunately does not have Box of Friends. So Boss Rush is not necessarily going to be as easy for us as it would normally be with Lilith. And uh, all of a sudden you can see why I'm slightly displeased. But, Latch Key is fine. And uh, I will take Eye of Belial, basically because we can. And then I'm going to go back because Crack the Sky is actually fine, but it's not good enough to write home about, so. It's a tough call. That probably should have hit me. Um, we could look for a secret room. Which could make the shop worthwhile. It would also give us two cents. Two cents has a good chance of giving us enough money to get another reroll from the shop, which is what I'm. Or sorry, from the uh, item room, which is what I'm worried about right now. Is making sure that I can reroll crack the sky into something that's a little bit more universally useful. This is probably our secret room, so let's check. Oh, it should have been the other one. Dang it. Four cents was not enough. That's a little maddening. Uh, we gotta check the shop just in case it's Sweet Room. It's not Sweet Room. So then the next step is, I think I'm gonna click. And we lost Eye of Belial, but we became Dark Judas. So that's where we stop using the clicker. Because we hit oil. And we really got lucky to be in this situation, if I'm being honest with you. Because we have 7 damage. We lost our good item, like we lost Eye of Belial that we spent 2 HP on. However, we have 7 damage so we don't need Eye of Belial anymore. So I think that might be our first seam, and if I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit, it's a seam I don't think a whole heck of a lot of people are going to get because you'd have to be an idiot to, to even try for it. So, you know, sometimes, who dares wins should be rephrased sometimes into, you know, sometimes the idiots prevail in spite of themselves. So lucky me, I suppose. And we will... Oh, that was just... Dodged right into the shot out of impatience, but... It's okay. We got a big uh, lead, I would suggest, right here. Especially considering that... You know, the loss of uh, Eye of Belial is pretty bad. Piercing shots is a great item. But... In order to double our damage... You know, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, probably. So I think we should be... Uh, relatively happy... Maybe overjoyed with the way that this went. I mean, I suggested there were a couple of characters I'd be interested in. Dark Judas being one, Azazel being another. Um, I would take either. If we'd gotten Azazel, that would have been fine as well, obviously. But In fact, Azazel might actually be better for the purposes of, like, surviving and, and killing enemies quickly. Except for the obvious, like, range problems. But, um... Dark Judas is also also up there. At the very least. Just keep yourself back here. We're, I would say, on schedules. Which means I would like to go a little faster. Just to keep ourselves, uh, you know, as safe as possible. I think Giga Bean is a terrible item. It's even more terrible than items that are actually bad. Because it almost convinces you that it's good. If It's almost like the opposite of like the Krampus' head situation. Oh, come on. It's almost the opposite of the Krampus' head situation. Where you're like... Well, no, it's exactly the same as the Krampus' head situation post-change. I wouldn't even say nerf necessarily, but post-change. Where sometimes it rotates and sometimes it doesn't. It would just be 20 times more valuable if you knew where uh, the rocks were going to go. Once every three rooms you get a really potent, you know, bean attack that takes up your spacebar item slot. That seems relatively fair to me. And this is where Crack the Sky can show that it's... Actually better than I've ever given it credit for, and I appreciate that. I am going to go, and I'm going to go because I don't want to stay here. 
I don't want to find myself getting too far behind schedule, basically. Crack the Sky might be a good... Uh... That's fine. Uh, I wanted to see if it was a Demon Judgment so we could easily gain access there, but this is okay. Crack the Sky might be a decent boss rush item as well. I don't know. This is... Uh... It's not that bad. Little low on HP, no question about that. And the, I mean, the big problem right now... Basically hate that. Um, is that we find ourselves unaware of just how the heck we're gonna uh, beat the seam right now. You know, if this run goes to... Help. <laughs> if this run goes to... Uh, Mom, we're gonna finish with like less than 20,000 points. Probably even less than that, but that's, you know, secondary right now. Um, I am going to take it. This is why I'm stoked that we waited a little bit longer. Because now. We have a. Or not waited. I'm stoked that we went a little bit faster than usual. Because now we have time to take care of stuff like this. Where we can actually get a spirit heart for free. That was really lucky. Uh, and we needed that spirit heart because the deal with the devil was not doing us any favors. So dare we um, roll the dice twice. You know, I know in Yahtzee you roll the dice three times, but I'm not sure I'm all about that lifestyle. I always thought that three times seemed a little brazen to me. Once, sure, you know, live your life like there's no tomorrow. Twice, all right, you know, everyone needs a second chance. Three times, what are you trying to sell me on here, Parker Brothers? I don't understand. But the thing is, we don't really have an option. We either have Holy Water or Data Miner. Data Miner is bad, but we could use it once and possibly get lucky and... and I don't want to say win, but, you know, we, we could beat Data Miner, if that makes sense. Effectively, we could get a good stat increase without a bad stat decrease. And uh, then that would be like we picked up a weird like experimental pill or something in there. Whereas Holy Water is bad, but can never actually actively hurt us like Data Miner does. So, it's a tough call. A luck upgrade is nice, although not immediately useful. And of course, Brimstone is outrageously good. We have to take it, but it does raise uh, the question of what the heck are we going to do? Oh, you jerk. I don't know if it's worth that five cents yet. It does raise the question of what we're going to do for uh, HP. Especially if we need to play a self-sacrifice room later. Well, <laughs> it's a good opportunity if we have Dark Bomb or something like that. But again, I, I have a hard time believing that we haven't played this run right. We have Brimstone, 10.38 damage. We're about two minutes ahead of schedule, and I'm going to burn up a lot of that goodwill right here. But look at the speed at which we're going through these enemies. We've got to see if this is a lucky shop. It's not, but it's not unlucky to fight Greed here and put us in a great spot for a shop on the next floor. We also can play this Judgment, and there's a good chance that Judgment will actually give us uh, HP. If he doesn't give us HP, he could give us Mapping, both of which could be useful. I think we might be fairly well equipped to perform well today, but we still got to find a way to get past Boss Rush. And I don't think that... Uh, I don't think the Clicker was the way. I mean, as Fastball said, Anybody sees a road that they're on, it is paved in gold. I don't remember as much of that song as I would like. One of my friends, in 8th grade, we had to do like a lyric analysis thing in English class where we picked a song that we liked and then we analyzed the lyrics. One of my friends did The Road by Fastball. That was a great choice. I did a song called Savior by the Red Hot Chili Peppers that I didn't even really like. But I was like, every other song on Californication is about fingering someone. So, you know, I, I chose a little deeper cut. It's like track 11. Didn't make it on the radio. Highly regretful. What a waste of the assignment. On the other hand, I had another classmate that did an analysis of the song Come On Over Baby by Christina Aguilera, which is just a song that's basically like, Hey babe, come over. Uh, I can't. My parents aren't home. And then a gif of a rally car going over a hill. If you know what I mean. Well, what should I say here? You know, zaniness has served me well on today's, I mean, I guess we'll take this. Has served me well on today's run. Maybe we should mine for data. Just once, just one time. We got a luck downgrade for a shot speed 
Oh, we can still take this? I'm not going to roll Data Miner long term because that's stupid. Um, basically, we picked up Holy Mantle and a Luck Down. So be it. That's not bad, really. A Luck Down is obviously worse than Holy Mantle is good, but... By the way, this uh, value proposition here might be bad. Our only bomb for a nickel, but... I did it anyway. Hoping that we can, uh, you know, use that nickel to help us disproportionately as well. Mystery Sack could potentially be an item that uh, pulls us out of the darkness here. I mean, we're not in... It, it's one of those things where I've got to clarify. It's only the fact that we're on a daily that makes this run sort of questionable right now. If this run just went, we would be fine. Because we would easily be able to win. Well, I mean, 2 HP is still a little dicey, but probably it would be relatively easy for us to win. Now, you're, you're not going to like this decision too much, I think, but I'm going to choose not to take Samson's Chain because it's too much of a liability around Mushrooms. And it's with a heavy heart that I say that because Cracking Skulls could give us the tools that we need to survive on this run. Like... Every single one of those skulls could have an Awaz rune. It could have uh, a teleportation card that allows us to get to a self-sacrifice room or something like that. After boss rush. You know, you see my conundrum here. But right now, our HP is not in a place where we can justify doing it. That's the, the simple long and short of it. Really bad use of that. Uh, by the way, getting hit by that bomb is basically catastrophic. We now have one spirit heart left. I think. The eternal heart is nice. If we survive, the eternal heart is nice. And the bomb was just a, honestly a failure in terms of positioning. So a speed upgrade's good. A health upgrade is also good. Now we go back for the red hearts. So really, uh, we have beaten the odds ridiculously with that uh, HP upgrade right there. The Eternal Heart, you know, is nice. It's not not nice. But it didn't help us immediately. And the health upgrade, on the other hand, was a, a huge get for us. So we will take the quarter. Um, this run's kind of starting to pop off. Now, with 48 cents, I am hoping that at some point we get the ability to use that for good. Don't want to just fight greeds endlessly in every single shop, but... Not that I'm complaining for now. Things have been pretty solid. Mystery Sack also came through in the clutch. Um, I think I'm just going to go... And that went very well as well. Okay, we do have HP. We have we have one HP and an Eternal Heart. I don't think we should take that just yet. Sure, we could become Guppy. Uh, here's how you do this. You take Guppy's Collar. Then you take the Mark, which gives you HP back. Which also gave us Leviathan. I wasn't even thinking about that. But then you take Magic Mush, which also gives you a stat upgrade. So this is like a way for me to kind of get a little bit of everything. Guppy's Collar is unlikely to be too useful. Oh, we had we had more HP than I thought. Oh, no, no, it's because the HP matured right there. Um, but we have more HP now than I thought we would. I thought we'd have one Red Heart and one Spirit Heart, but... And this is, I imagine... We gotta take Tech X, obviously. This is, I imagine, what happened to a lot of people on today's run. You're now sitting in a position where the run is so good. Um, are we going to get trapped on Boss Rush? If we're going to get trapped on Boss Rush, maybe it's better to just play the self-sacrifice room instead of going. But we should really look for a teleport card, because if we can do both, you know, life is going to be pretty sweet for us. Not that. Does portable slot or the jar give us what we need? I don't believe so. So yeah, we, we're very lucky because we got a lot of time. If a, a teleport card exists on this floor, I should really look for it. Tears upgrade is wonderful. I mean, especially considering we have uh, Brimstone. The fact that our tears upgrade is now taking us down to an 8 rate of fire is awesome. Gotta go to the curse room. May if there's a guppy item, I will be slightly regretful, but there isn't. Um, the thing is, 
our HP at present does not allow us to play the self-sacrifice room either, so... Oh, we could have been Guppy. But does that really matter in a situation in which the run will probably end right now anyway? We can't think like that. Unfortunately. Um, so what's the game plan now? Well... Straight up, I think you play this thing a lot. You're trying to get bombs. The, the keys for money is fine, but... We're trying to get bombs and teleport cards. We only have the opportunity at the present moment to blow up like a couple of skulls. Well, there is another play. We get payouts from... What's the pill? You can't rely on that being telepills. We get payouts from Mystery Sack on the boss fight. Or on boss rush, I should say. Changes things ever so slightly. Alright, I think you've, you've done enough here. One makes you small is okay. We're still easily going to be able to make it to the boss fight. You got to check this just in case. Because we might end up, again, playing self-sacrifice room, which throws this whole thing into question here. There's no great opportunities to place bombs and get multiple skulls. So straight up, we're just going to take the ones that are available to us. We already bought our tarot card from the uh, from the shop. We should kill mom in like no time flat. That's no concern. You could go broken awk, and I, I mean, I, at this point, I think we straight up just have to try this. But and we're looking for a teleport card primarily. Take the Polaroid. Um, use a bomb here because we may need that uh, demon heart. In order to play the self-sacrifice room. Egghead's good. Black hole's good. Um, not good enough, though. I'd say you gotta go egghead here for the... Which is actually conehead, but forgive me. So you should pretty easily be able to figure out what the game plan is here. We're trying to get as many mystery sack payouts as we can. I think mystery sack just paid out with a penny. If we don't get it, we don't get it. And maybe we... But you gotta, to some extent, put yourself in my shoes on this one. If we played the self-sacrifice room... First off, there's no way of me knowing that that's the only way for us to get off of this floor. If it ends up being the second best way for us to get off of this floor, that's pretty bad. But secondly, um, it didn't look like we necessarily had the HP to make it uh, a guarantee to work regardless. Maybe we... I mean, this is a long shot. Maybe we could use Black Hole to open the boss door on the mom room. And it would have been my mistake for not doing that. I would be bummed if that were the case. But I'm not necessarily saying it's impossible. But yeah, our game plan right now is finish this, hopefully teleport out of boss rush. If we get out of boss rush, we'll play the self-sacrifice room and hopefully live. And if we don't, we don't, but... There is a chance, as loath as I am to admit it, there is a chance that the right play was actually to take Samson's chain and crush every single skull we came across. And that's what makes a daily a daily, fortunately or unfortunately. We got marked, which is... I mean, I don't even know how that works with this. Assuming, yeah, just a really, really nice tears upgrade. But we're, we're trapped. We got no way out. Dude, that's a super bummer. What that means to me, though, is that the seam is probably pretty tough to get. So let's see what our score is today. Haha, <laughs> it's the weed number. Um, yeah, that sucks. I guess I, I missed a seam that was relatively obvious. For now, sorry for the short episode, but uh, I'm, as, I'm as bummed about it as you are. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal of... Yeah, 420th makes sense. I was running it through in my head. I was like, they got the algorithm right for the suffix there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll be back to try to reclaim my honor tomorrow. But uh, again, for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.